Hello everybody. For some reason my phone will not hook to my internet. So I hope that my connection will be good enough that it won't go skipping around a lot. But we are going to just cross our fingers and hope so. I hope you guys are all doing well. If I saw you earlier today, welcome back, you guys. Um, I was on earlier today showing off two of my Pampered Chef products that I absolutely love. Yes, I already love my cooking blender, you guys. I just made cheesy potato soup in my cooking blender. Um, it took half an hour, but I literally didn't have to do anything. After I put all the ingredients in, didn't even really need to cut up the potatoes or the celery or the carrots or anything. I literally just put all the ingredients into my blender and hit go and it made cheesy potato soup for me. Cooked all the vegetables, cooked the potatoes, cooked, melted the cheese, it did everything for me and now it's sitting in my blender, super, super hot and ready to eat and I'm so excited, you guys. That was seriously the best in purchase I've ever made is our cooking blender. It's expensive, but man, if you can make a meal in half an hour and it does all the work, I didn't even have to stir it, you guys. It stirs itself. It's a blender. It stirs while it cooks. It's amazing. I'm so excited. Hello, you guys. How are you? Renee, Miranda, Mike, Carrie, Jody, Roxy, Deborah, Danielle, Cassidy, at Sue, Eileen, how are you? Jamie, Gigi, Kate, how is everybody? I am home and I am tan. Yes, yes. I need to probably start wearing some eye makeup. They seem to get lost in the tanner face, but that's all good, you guys. I don't wear makeup very often, if you guys haven't noticed. So, we are gonna be using our air fryers today, you guys. I'm gonna be using my Pampered Chef air fryer. I'm just taking a second to post into some cooking groups. Please do so if you want to, you guys. Remember, I do giveaways every 20, 40, 80, I mean 40, 80, 120 live views. I do a giveaway for each goal that we hit. So let's hit those goals today, you guys. I want to give away some Pampered Chef. And thank you to those who have won in the past. They are working on orders in June now. So if you've been patiently waiting to get your items from me, from your giveaway, they will be shipping soon. Hello, Natalie, how are you? Hi, Jojo. Natalie, what's up? Tammy, hello, you guys. Hello, everybody from my Pampered Chef parties. Um, Eileen, it's different because Allegiant um, to Arizona, it has its own um, airport. Allegiant doesn't have anybody else there, United, Delta, any of those places. So um, on our way from Minot to Arizona, um, there was another flight leaving at the same time, and it was packed there um and our flight our plane down to arizona only had one open seat in it but everyone had masks on there was a lot of people with gloves and the flight attendants hand, hand out wipes when you get onto the plane so that you can additionally wipe down your seat which they promised they've already wiped down but you can double wipe it down on our way back there were tons of open seats there was hardly anybody at the airport there was only one flight leaving that day so it was really nice and it felt really safe which was good Hello again, you guys. I was on earlier talking about the cooking blender um, and also about my salad spinner, you guys, that I absolutely love. Hello, Brie. Hello, niece and nephew. How are you guys doing? Cardi, what's up? Jason and Brent, how are you guys? Charlene, hello. I hope you guys are all doing well. We are going to, what's up, Jason? We are going to make these air fried garlic parmesan green beans. I'm gonna be honest. I'm not a huge fan of green beans, so we're gonna try this and see if they are working for me. Tater tot hot dish for dinner tonight, yummy, you guys. I made cheesy potato soup in my cooking blender, you guys. Sitting over there, all cooked up, ready to go, all hot and cheesy and potatoey, and I'm so excited. Hi, Josh, how are you? I am not, I'm just tanned. I, <laughs> Hello, Marissa, okay. So we are gonna rinse off our green beans. I have no idea what a pound of green beans looks like, but this is what I bought at the grocery store. It was all pre-packed for me. So I'm gonna take it, and I am going to just rinse some green beans, and then we are gonna get started. You wanna make sure you rinse off your green beans, get them nice and washed up, you guys. Whoops, wrong area. 
just grab a handful. I'm not gonna make a whole bunch of them because it is just me and Grayson home right now. Kingston and my husband are in town hanging out, so we don't need a ton. So I'm just gonna walk over here, you guys, and just rinse these out the sink. I hope you guys are all doing well. I hope everybody is safe, and I hope nobody is sick. I haven't had any of you guys on my show recently say you have COVID. We had some um, earlier, back in like April, that had it, but I haven't heard of anybody else since. So I hope you guys are all nice and healthy and doing good. Hello, Erin, how are you? <laughs> Yes, they sometimes eat what I make, you guys. I hate trying to get this little one in position. Shannon, sometimes they do, sometimes they do not eat what I cook. I will not lie at all. Isaac and Bella, what are you guys doing? Hanging out outside. Hungarian goulash, yum, you guys. This is our salad and berry spinner. I absolutely love it, you guys. Super, super awesome. <laughs> Feeling good vibes today, Mike. Hello, Tracy and Bethany, Amanda. Zucchini sausage boats tonight, yum. Sandy, hello, Paul, how are you? All right, so you guys, I am just getting the water off of our green beans. They're all washed up. I love this thing, you guys. It spins off all that extra water in there. It's hard to see it. There you go. Now we have our rinsed off green beans. Yes, you guys, we are going to be using our Pampered Chef air fryers today. So if you guys have hosted a party recently with me and you guys are waiting for your air fryers, you guys can make this in your air fryer when they arrive. It's going to be awesome. Okay, so we have these all cleaned. Now we are going to coat them in flour. Woo! I just soaked myself in the water that was in here. I am actually going to use this bowl from my salad and berry spinner to toss my green beans in some flour. So I'm just gonna dump them in there. We're gonna do about half a cup of flour to coat our green beans. There will be excess flour, you guys, so you don't have to worry too much about it. But we are just gonna coat these. Um, you can put them in a Ziploc bag or a big container with a lid to coat them in the flour. The flour is optional, but it will help the eggs stick a little bit better to the beans. I am good, you guys. I am doing good. Done buffalo chicken zucchini boats, and they were awesome. Yes, I could definitely do it. Yum, spaghetti, you guys. I am going to be making on Thursday. I am going to be making vegetable spaghetti sauce in my cooking blender on Thursday. Hello, Jenny. How are you? Ashley, what's up? Susan, thank you for sharing. So I've coated my green beans in flour like so. Now we are going to whisk eggs and dip the green beans in the eggs. So I'm not sure what the best way to do this is going to be, but we're going to do two eggs. And then we're going to get going. If you're new to my show, I do everything in real time. I don't cook ahead of time. I don't prep ahead of time so that if you guys want to cook and do this recipe with me, you guys can. You have the time. You're not stressing and flailing around trying to catch up to me and my steps. So um, if you want to cook with me, I always post the recipe um, a couple days or a day beforehand so that you guys can cook along with me. I'm so excited. I got my little mini whisk in the mail the other day and I love it, you guys. Hello, Jenny, how are you? All right, so just whisking up the eggs a little bit and then we are going to dip our green beans in the eggs love this whisk you guys I love it jenny we are making garlic parmesan air fried green beans um i'm kind of just half tempted to just dump this into here what do you guys think i don't know maybe not 
<laughs> okay, so we have, we're gonna dump them in the eggs and then we're gonna mix together Parmesan, panko, and garlic powder. After dipping them in the eggs, we're gonna dip them into the panko crumbs until they're coated well and then we're gonna place them in the air fryer. So I'm gonna have my air fryer shelf, as you will, ready to go so that once we dip them, I can just stick them right onto there and be ready to go. I want one more container. One more container to dip my green beans in. I have no idea what container to use. Nine million Tupperware containers, you guys. If you need containers, hit up Tupperware because they sell the best ones, except when they static cling to each other. Okay, here we go. They do not want to come apart. Just failing all over, you guys. I really want this one container, and it does not want to come apart. <sighs> there. Okay, so then we need this station, this station. Coating stuff is my least favorite thing to do, you guys. I love this whisk too. Yeah, I have, pie plates would have been even harder to dig out, you guys. My kitchen is a mess. I need to make space. That is awesome, Lisa. Using it once a week. Yes, yeah, so we have our eggs all mixed up. Now we're going to mix together our Parmesan cheese, our panko crumbs, and our garlic powder. So I wasn't sure if we should use shredded Parmesan cheese or if we should use grated Parmesan cheese. So I bought both, and I was thinking of doing half and half because I was thinking also that you know panko plain breadcrumbs would be good but i also wanted to try using italian style just to add a little bit more flavor to it so i was thinking we could do that and do one with grated and one with shredded and see which one is better like i said i don't really like green beans so if we can make them better <laughs> If we can make them better, I'm going to do it. Hello, Thelma. How are you? Jordan thinks grated instead of shredded. Well, we are going to see. Oops. All right. I had a surprise kitty make an entrance. He must have been let out. All right. Eggs, flour coated green beans. Now we need to do our bread crumb mixture. Hi Lacey, how are you? How are you doing? Yes, you guys, so I'm gonna do and see which one is better. So we're gonna do a cup of bread crumbs. So I'm doing one bowl with Italian and one bowl of regular. Nothing fancy, you guys, just a little less than a cup of each since I am splitting the recipe and I'm also not making a full recipe of them. Half a cup of Parmesan cheese. Let's do the grated in the Italian. And then I'm gonna do the shredded in the regular. Like so. All right. <laughs> Dreaming about them from TGI Fridays. Yes, Tammy, I hope they are as good. Thelma, um, I will message you and let you know um, for each of your orders when you can expect them. Deb Bethany, I will definitely teach you how to cook. Yep, I kicked the cat out, you guys. Hey, Patty, I know it's been a long time no see. I'm glad you could catch me live. I'm just gonna use a fork, you guys, and just kind of mix this up. And then we are gonna add in our garlic powder. 
which I know that Italian breadcrumbs have that in it already, but the pink, regular panko crumbs don't. So we are gonna do a tablespoon of garlic powder into the panko crumbs. I'm not gonna do it into the Italian ones because I know that they already have them in there. Hi Heidi, how are you? My two brides-to-be are on the show. How are you ladies? I hope you're doing well. You're welcome, Thelma, I will message you. Hello, Jessica. All right, so we have these ready. Now the messy part is going to be dipping this in here. I just feel like there has to be a better way. This is gonna take forever. I just wanna to toss them all. Can I? I want to. Should I? I shouldn't. I'm gonna do it like this. And hope that they all get coated. I'm too lazy to do them one at a time, you guys. So we're just gonna kinda, the flour will help the egg stick, you guys. So, okay. So now we've got them all coated in egg. Now, how are we gonna make this other process faster? Okay, and we're gonna grab half of them like this, and I'm gonna go like this. <laughs> I'm so lazy, you guys. I hate dipping things. It takes forever. Okay. So these are our regular ones, and I will grab out our shelf. So our regular green beans, and it does say to make sure that they are not laying over the top of each other because it will cause um, inconsistencies in how done the green beans are. So to keep them consistent, you wanna make sure they aren't overlapping each other in the air fryer so that they all have space to get nice and crispy in the air fryer. My cat has escaped again and is ready to party on the counter. Okay, so we're gonna throw this first batch in at 350 for five minutes or until golden brown. So 350 for five minutes. There we go. All right. Yes, Eileen, that would have been an easier choice to put them in a Ziploc bag, but I just went for it sitting on the counter, but it worked. Okay. So our first ones are in the air fryer, cooking 350 for five minutes. So in order to do that with our Pampered Chef air fryer, grab you guys down. So here's our Pampered Chef air fryer. You're going to hit custom, and then you're gonna spin this wheel until you hit five minutes, and then it automatically, the custom is starts at 350, but you would then click it and spin it to change that, and then you just hit go. Now they're in here, and they're cooking. 350 for five minutes. <laughs> yes, the cat is pushing its luck. Really, I hope they're that good, you guys. I really do, I really do want them to be good because I don't like green beans. But obviously, Eating green beans is healthy for you because they're vegetables. So I hope they turn out really, really good. Yes, it did work, you guys. I made a little bit of a mess, but they did work. <laughs> you guys are awesome. All the do it. <laughs> okay, so now, so those were our panko and shredded cheese. Now, we are going to do the Italian and grated cheese and we will see how they do <laughs> i 
that is my air fryer telling me that if I need to, to flip them over at the halfway point while they are cooking. But an air fryer is really, really good at really good at cooking evenly as the air circulates, which is why we just wanna make sure that we layer these green beans in so that they're not overlapping each other, like so. You guys, we are almost done with this recipe, if you believe it or not, so make sure you get your reactions on the post to get entered into the giveaway and then we will do our giveaway. We are at 76 live views, so we will do one giveaway today. Thank you guys all for sharing and joining in on the cooking post. I'm just trying to find room for these last green beans. Just make sure that they're not touching, and then they should be good to go. Um, I don't want to put both shelves into the air fryer at the same time because then that does stop them from cooking underneath and all around. Brooke, you don't have the air fryer yet? Oh no! You need to get it. It is so amazing. I love it almost as much as I'm starting to love my cooking blender. So we will see. I'm sure it'll be in tight competition between which one I use more often than the other. Jamie, you got it, girl. I am making cheesy garlic green beans in the air fryer. Eileen, right now, the only way to get it is to host a party and hit $6.50 in sales, and then you get the air fryer 60% off, which I think is $111, maybe less than that. I haven't looked. Yes, you guys, this air fryer is life. If you don't have an air fryer, you need to get one. Hello, Caitlin, how are you? This is smelling really, really good. I know, Lindsay, you are gonna love it. You guys, all of you that have ordered the air fryer and it is coming, you are going to love it. Okay, we are gonna do, yes, Thelma, I will definitely reach out to you and give you some more information. Um, we are gonna do our giveaway, you guys, to get those reactions out there. It's on its way, Renee. Oh, I'm so excited. I don't, Susan. I only really use my oven for making creme brulee and cake. That's about it. You can make cake in the air fryer. I just don't, because it's not, I don't know, just not what I'm used to. Um, but other than that, I make everything else in my air fryer. I really don't use my microwave that often either. Um, I use my air fryer to reheat most food so that's how it stands right now patty if you tap on my face the description of the video will pop up and the recipe will be there if you don't want it there there's another recipe um the same recipe that i posted on my page yesterday that you can find as well you guys they smell so good Ooh, nice and golden brown Oh, they smell so good, you guys. Yes. So good. All right, the second round is going in. 3.50 for five minutes. 3.50 for five minutes. Here we go. Custom. Five minutes. 3.50. There we go. All right, we're going to do the giveaway. 105 views, you guys, it always jumps up there at the end. The only key for the giveaway, you guys, they have to watch through the length of the show. You guys are so awesome. We are making garlic parmesan green beans in the air fryer. They look amazing, they smell delicious, and they took seriously 10 minutes to do. If you prep them the way I did, throw them in a Ziploc bag, throw them in a dish, and just toss them around a little bit, you can have these green beans in no time. You guys, seriously, so fast. So, so fast. Hello, you guys. If you are in a Pampered Chef party right now, you guys, I hope that you have your eye on some amazing stuff. Our salad and berry spinner 
our cooking blender, our air fryer. You guys, we have so many amazing things, but just keep in mind when you are sticker shocked by some of Pamper Chef prices, over 80% of our products are under $30, okay? These are fresh green beans, you guys. Fresh green beans, not frozen. Hello, Maureen, how are you? Kayla, I made a cheesy potato soup in my cooking blender today. So I had vegetable broth, potatoes, onion, garlic, carrots, celery, potatoes obviously, and then added in some salt, pepper, thyme, in some cheddar cheese, all made inside of a blender, you guys. It cooked for 30 minutes. I didn't have to stir it. I didn't even really have to chop the vegetables because it's a blender. I didn't have to stir it because it's a blender. 30 minutes, I have cheesy potato soup hot and ready in my blender right next to me to go with our yummy cheesy garlic green beans. <laughs> Susan, I'm nervous. I really don't like green beans. Sorry guys, I will get my ranch out and I will try one after we do our giveaway. You guys are awesome. Um, I did not make the soup on my Mom Feeling Hungry Boys page. I did, however, make it on my Snapchat. So if you guys don't have my Mom Feeling Hungry Boys Snapchat, make sure you add it, you guys, because you can see it in the Snapchat. Yes, no chunky soup, very smooth, pureed, delicious. I will show you guys a peek right now. So here is my soup, it's in the blender still. Still piping hot, you guys. Spin the top off, you guys. Oh, it smells so good. Cheesy potato soup, smells delicious. So yummy. Pampered Chef recipe. I cannot wait to try it. Oh no, Eileen, no Snapchat. You might just get it just to check out my snaps. Hello, Patricia, how are you? You got the small rock crock grill pan. The idea of putting it in the freezer and making your own cold stone ice cream is so exciting. You guys, this blender is so awesome. Yes, Renee, at somebody's party, you need to get it 50% off. <laughs> Sniff their phone, Amy, you're so cute. All right, you guys, we'll, let's have, I'll do two giveaways today, just because I love you guys. Sue Bailey, will you pick two numbers between 1 and 12? Two numbers between 1 and 12. Hello, Darren, welcome back. Hello, you guys. <laughs> You guys are so funny. Jason, that was the wrong Eileen. You're so funny. All right. People are calling me like crazy. We're going to do two giveaways. One, Sue picks two numbers between 1 and 12. 2 and 10. Here we go, you guys. Number 1. Angela. Number 2. Our first winner. Tracy Flight is our first winner Tracy congratulations all right number three number four five Danielle is what it says six hello Colette Amy number seven Lacey Number eight, Patricia. Number nine, Maggie. And number 10, our next winner, Carol Evelo. Congratulations, Carol. Send me your email, your phone number, your shipping address, and I will get something sent off to you for winning. I am going to try these ones. Um, I'm excited about the um, Italian breadcrumbs as opposed to the regular panko crumbs. I'm just going to slip this on my counter. 
and we will try them. So here's how they both turned out. I want to say um, the shredded cheese looks more like the picture. So if you use shredded Parmesan cheese or grated Parmesan cheese, yeah, shredded Parmesan cheese. And then this is finely grated Parmesan cheese um, with Italian breadcrumbs on here and regular panko crumbs here. Congratulations to everyone who has won, you guys. All right, I'm going to try it. Here we go. Cheers. Really good flavor, you guys. Would be really good in ranch. I am going to try these ones. I definitely like the Italian breadcrumbs better, but I like the shredded cheese better. So, verdict, Italian breadcrumbs and shredded Parmesan cheese instead of grated. With ranch, of course, or <laughs> sriracha mayo or ketchup. Or whatever you like to eat them with. Hi, guys. Here you go, babe. Oh. All right. I hope you guys have an awesome night. I will see you on Thursday. Congratulations to the winners. Make sure you guys message me. And have an awesome night, you guys.